the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 27, Exodus 24-27 Wow! 74 members. God explained the blueprint of a tabernacle which was to be the place of a meeting with Israel through Moses who climbed Mount Sinai alone. First point. The laws of a kingdom of priests became a bilateral covenant. The covenant God gave to Abraham 500 years ago was the grace covenant. But the covenant 500 years later that God gave to Abraham's descendants became a bilateral covenant. The content being that he would bless all nations through them and protect them on the basis that they keep God's laws. The people of Israel became God's possession and God became their God, and this covenant became the basis for a kingdom of priests. There are five parts to this bilateral covenant. The first was God's proclamation and the Israel nation's reply. The second was making an altar, recording everything and raising twelve stone fillers. The third was to spread blood on the altar for the burnt offering and the fellowship offering. The fourth was to read aloud the Book of the Covenant and for the Israel nation to respond to it. The fifth was to confirm the covenant. Second point, wow, the 74 elders get invited to God's feast. After the confirmation of the bilateral covenant, God invites Moses and the 70 elders of Israel who played an important role during Passover. Due to their efforts on the night of Passover, 22,273 firstborns of the twelve tribes as well as the first ones of the tribe of Levi were able to leave. Those invited in front of God were the seventy elders of Israel, Moses, Aaron, and Aaron's sons, Nadab and Abihu. These seventy-four people were able to come before God and enjoy a feast. Third point. Moses goes on Mount Sinai and spends the first 40 days with God. During the year in Mount Sinai, Moses goes up to the mountains twice, both for 40 days to meet with God. During the first 40 day meeting, God gives Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tablets, as well as the material and the design of the tabernacle. But as we all know, whilst Moses was up in the mountains, the Israelites sinned by making a golden cup, which meant that Moses had to go up the mountain a second time. When Moses went up for the first time, God himself wrote the Ten Commandments on stone tablets. But during the second time, Moses had to carve on the stone tablets and write it down himself. Fourth point, when humans turn to God, God's forgiveness begins. The place of meeting between God and humans was a collaborative project. The place symbolized God's presence, and in that place, God met with humans. God gave the exact design for making the tabernacle. However, he made the people give offerings for the tabernacle so that they could have the heart to offer. God wants people to offer to him wholeheartedly with a giving heart. In this place, God's presence was there as well as the Ark of the Covenant. It was located at the heart of their living tent. 
this tabernacle was a moving tabernacle for 500 years until it was secured in the temple for 1,000 years. The most important point was that in this place, God would meet with the people in order to forgive them. Fifth point, the greatest joy for humans was to receive the design for the tabernacle from God. God commanded Noah to build an ark and God himself gave Noah the design. Noah built the ark exactly as God commanded him and he was able to survive the flood. God later gave Moses a design for the tabernacle and then again to David for the Jerusalem temple. Years later, he gave the design to Ezekiel to rebuild the temple after it was burned down. As such, humans on numerous occasions were given a design by God. The prophet Isaiah sang that God is the porter and we are the clay. God the porter molds who we are. But if the clay loses its moisture, how can the porter mold a good outcome? It is important for us to keep our clay moist so that God the porter can continuously mold us. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.